Hey everybody, it's Justin with Justin Sally Art. I hope you're having a great day. Thank you for coming to my premiere. I'm gonna run you through what colors I used and how I mixed them really quick, and then we'll get started. I wanna spend this time just doing the pour with you guys. So let's get it going. All right, my friends, here was the lineup from today. Payne's Gray from Creative Inspirations, Amsterdam Titanium White, Amsterdam Primary Yellow, Dioxazine Purple from Liquitex, Quinacridone Magenta from Liquitex, Cerulean Blue from Creative Inspirations, and Oxide Black from Amsterdam. We mixed that two parts Floetrol to one part paint. So what I did is I used a scale and a cup and I weighed out 80 grams of flood flow trawl, put that in the cup, then I grabbed a color and put 40 grams into that same cup and mixed it up. And that's how we got to our paints. And then I took the thinnest paint that I had and I put water in the other cups until they match the consistency. So let's go ahead and get this pour started. All right, guys. Well, we're ready to go, I think. So we got our canvas, it's taped. We sprayed the back, taped it. So we'll put that off to the side for one second. And then we're gonna put our colors in. All right, so let's get those colors over here. I picked some darker colors, so we'll just have to see how it comes out. But no matter what, good or bad, I'm putting this up. So, wish me luck, please. So here's the consistency again. And we just mix that with Floetrol, two parts. To one part paint by weight and then mixed a little water to what colors we needed so we could make sure that they were all the same consistency oh we're gonna start with let's put this here so you can see it Start with a little white, because that's the last color that's going to show up. So that'll be the, the very last thing that comes out of the cup. So that's what we want to start with. That's what I'm putting in there. And I'm only going to do a little bit. And that was titanium white. This is primary yellow, Amsterdam. Do a little bit more of that. And this is a 20 inch canvas, so I'm gonna add quite a bit of these colors and these layers, and then hopefully, once I pour it out, I'll be able to get some combination of the reds and blues and the yellow to make some different colors. So we'll mix a little bit of the blues with the yellows to make green. And I think that's actually, let's add a little bit of this quinacridone magenta first. So we are trying to go with more of a, if we can, a sunset vibe in the beginning. I always like the way they turn out when they look like they have kind of a sunset or a sunrise at the beginning. All right, so let's let's split that up a little bit. Just gonna add some white. A little bit of black. And 
bit a little more white. And I'm just trying to cause a border area here. And the white will soak up some of those colors that I put on either side of them too. Maybe cause a little bit of fading. Alright, so let's see. We'll go kind of got a sunset look there so what we'll do is we'll hit it with a tiny bit of purple just a little bit and we're gonna do just a touch of white split it up So we'll come in here with cerulean blue. Kind of go big on this one. I really enjoy the random effects of adding primary colors next to each other without a border and seeing what colors mix and come up depending on the shades that you're using. Obviously, adding a yellow next to a blue is going to get you green and so on and so forth. But they can add really cool, fun effects in the middle of a pour and get totally random, cool results. And that was kind of the point of this pour, using a simple mix, seeing if we can create some cool designs and possibly come up with a cool color anybody can do by using paint, flow troll, and water. And I think it'll come out at least pretty good so hopefully let's see what happens all right i'm gonna grab the canvas switch my gloves and i'll be right back with you <clears throat> we're gonna put a little bit of paint on the outside around here I didn't do that last time. I don't know if it's good or bad. I'm not claiming to know, because I'm learning. And especially on these type of pours, I do a lot a lot of blooms and stuff, but these are new to me. Um, I really get inspired by Garrick Brown and Sarah Mack that do these. They kill it. I think the first person I watched when I tried this, I didn't have all the supplies, was Sarah Mack, and she did this one that looked like a coral reef with, she actually one of the colors was this pink and it was coral, and the fingers that came off of it just blew me away. I was just, I mean, it got me. And so I knew I had to do this style, and it's really beautiful. And I hope this one comes out halfway decent for you guys. All right, so we got most of that down. Let's spread some of that out. Up after my pour is Sheldon of Shell Rock Art and then Taslima of Taslima Maya Art. There'll be links in the description. This box is kind of hard to work in. I really need to upgrade our workspace so we can pour bigger stuff. That's one of the reasons we haven't expanded so much we do have quite a few big canvases that we want to do some more work on and start expanding and we will but such is life right responsibilities family and kid just make sure you take care of everything you have to and then art because it's the best therapy definitely for me and hopefully some of you guys out there get to create things or do pour painting or some sort of crafts or building something that helps you get creative play music an instrument all right so let's try and get these edges a little bit You guys ready? Oh look, look at that green it already made. Sitting in there, you see that? Just sitting in the cup.
Okay, let's do this. Wish me luck. I just want to take a second to thank all you guys for stopping by and watching my premiere. Hopefully you enjoy this pour. I'm going to stretch it out here in a second. Don't forget to go follow the links to watch Sheldon Briscoe of Shell Rock Art next. And then up after that will be Taslima of Taslima Maya Art. Please like, subscribe and hit the notification bell on all of our channels so you can see any of the future pours that we put up. We appreciate you guys so much.
Well, overall, I'm still liking it. I'm satisfied with the edit I did in the center to tie it all together. I'll show you a picture of it the other way, upside down from where it is right now, because I think it looks better as a pathway rather than a sunset like I was thinking in the beginning. I'm really excited about how I didn't get any muddy colors and overall I got some pretty good fingering and I think it looks pretty good. It should have been a little thicker and we would have had a little more definition but still we got some pretty crisp lines in there. Thanks so much for coming by. Up next is Sheldon Briscoe of Shell Rock Art, and then following him will be Taslima Maya of Taslima Maya Art. Thanks so much, and the link is in the description, so go find that, and I'll see you guys over there.